Ford worst EV car market crash ever has begun. The EV market is in freefall, and what you're about to hear will shake you to your core. If you drive an EV or if you're thinking about diving into the EV market, think again. This video could save you thousands of dollars and spare you from the EV apocalypse that's unfolding before our eyes. You don't believe me? Then watch this video carefully. The once promising future of electric vehicles has taken a catastrophic turn, leaving buyers stranded in a sea of uncertainty. Dealers are fleeing from EVs faster than you can say, zero emissions, leaving over 4,000 EVs abandoned in what can only be described as EV graveyards. It's a scandal of epic proportions. Political leaders are trying to strong arm us into buying overpriced EVs while concealing a dark truth that I'm about to uncover. The middle class is taking the brunt of this shocking reality, as hardworking individuals like you and me are left to foot the bill for their deceptive schemes. And let's talk about Joe Biden's desperate attempts to salvage the sinking ship of EVs. Despite pouring billions into the market, the EV dream has turned into a nightmare for consumers. But fear not, because I'm here to reveal the ugly truth behind this debacle. Here's the cold, hard reality. Ford, GM, Tesla, Jeep, and every other legacy brand are slamming on the brakes when it comes to EV production. The once revered champions of electric mobility are now grappling with unprecedented losses. But how do the losses come? And how are they going to solve them? Watch this. Ford is hemorrhaging money, selling EVs at a staggering loss of $36,000 per car. Tesla, once the darling of the EV world, is slashing prices left and right, with no end in sight. And let's not forget about the thousands of unsold EVs gathering dust on dealer lots across the country. But how does this crash impact you, the everyday consumer? Well, buckle up, because the repercussions are dire. Used EVs are plummeting in value, with prices dropping by a jaw-dropping 33.7% since October 2022. That's a whopping $17,862 off the average price of a used EV. Let's cut to the chase. Used EVs are about as desirable as a skunk in a flower shop, with values plummeting by a staggering 30% year over year. Just take a peek at the Tesla app and you'll be floored by the depreciation on a 2020 Tesla. It's now a mere shadow of its former glory, clocking in at just 50% of its initial value in a measly three years. Talk about a gut-wrenching drop. And we're not even scratching the surface here. Brace yourselves for the dreaded EV battery degradation, a nightmare scenario that's enough to give any EV owner sleepless nights. But wait, there's more. High interest rates and greedy dealer markups are throwing even more roadblocks in the path of aspiring EV owners making these eco-friendly marvels nothing but a distant dream for many. But hold on to your seats because it gets even juicier. Tesla's very own Elon Musk has slammed the brakes on plans for a new factory, citing the chaotic mess engulfing the EV market. When the king of EVs starts second-guessing his own empire, you know things have taken a turn for the worse. And if that's not enough to send shivers down your spine, buckle up for this bombshell. Raw material prices for EV batteries are plummeting faster than a lead balloon. You'd think that's good news, right? Wrong. It's actually a red flag signaling trouble on the horizon, with demand dwindling and the market teetering on the edge of collapse. Even automotive giant Ford is feeling the heat, scaling back production shifts at their F-150 Lightning plant as the EV market crumbles around them. And halfway across the globe in Japan, Nidex shares are taking a nosedive faster than you can say EV apocalypse as investors grapple with the uncertainty gripping the industry. But what does all this mean for you and me, the everyday consumers caught in the crossfire of this EV debacle? And when is then the right time to buy an EV? Well, if you've been eyeing that shiny new EV, you might want to hit the brakes for now. The market's in freefall, and the roller coaster ride is far from over. And let's not forget about China, the epicenter of all things EV. With sales booming and demand soaring, the ripple effects of Ford's market meltdown are bound to be felt far and wide. Picture this, a desolate wasteland dubbed the EV Graveyard, where over 10,000 EVs lie abandoned, a stark testament to the government's failed attempt to conceal the truth. Both the Chinese and the Germans dove headfirst into the EV frenzy, dreaming of a world where people would clamor for EVs at any price. But reality hit them like a ton of bricks, with billion-dollar losses raining down like confetti. Meanwhile, here in America, where gas-powered vehicles have long been king, Ford and GM have poured over $3 billion into their EV ventures. The F-150 Lightning and the Silverado EV line the dealer lots by the hundreds, but there's just one problem. Nobody's biting. The writing's on the wall. The EV market is hurtling towards a crash of cataclysmic proportions. But what happens when these EVs are left to rot? The environmental impact is staggering, with each car's battery housing precious materials like nickel, lithium, and cobalt, resources vital for the sustainability of the EV industry. 
And let's not forget the colossal blow to the environment, as these abandoned vehicles undercut the very environmental benefits they were meant to champion. But here's the kicker. Why can't companies just pull the plug on EV production and go back to the drawing board? Well, there's a sinister force at play here, a puppet master pulling the strings and dictating the fate of the common man. The Biden administration's unwavering devotion to EVs has left no room for dissent with a clear ultimatum. Embrace EVs or face extinction. But what is then the solution? And those sky-high prices? They're nothing but a trap, luring unsuspecting consumers into a web of exorbitant monthly payments. How many of you watching have been ensnared by a car payment upwards of $300 a month? It's a plight that thousands of auto dealers across the nation are all too familiar with as they band together to sound the alarm in a fiery letter to President Biden. Over 3,000 auto dealers, representing every corner of the country and every major car brand, have joined forces to voice their concerns. Their message is loud and clear. Electric vehicles simply aren't selling as anticipated, leaving dealerships drowning in a sea of unsold EVs despite enticing incentives and price cuts. It's time to pump the brakes on this reckless push towards electric vehicles and give the common man a fighting chance. Let's talk about the cold, hard reality of owning an EV. When these eco-friendly marvels first hit the roads, they were hailed as the future of motoring cleaner, greener, and supposedly cheaper in the long run. But the truth is starting to emerge, and it's painting a very different picture indeed. Is it still affordable to have an EV at all? Well, watch this. The cost of repairs for EVs can send shivers down your spine. A seemingly minor collision that damages an EV's battery can result in repair bills skyrocketing exponentially. What might seem like a small dent or scratch to you and me is often deemed a complete battery replacement by insurers, leaving owners with a staggering burden that can reach up to $155,000. It's a nightmare scenario that's enough to make anyone think twice about hitting the road in an EV. But wait, there's more. Insurance costs for EVs are spiraling out of control too. Owners are facing skyrocketing premiums, with some seeing their insurance costs triple overnight. Tesla owners in particular have been hit hard, with premiums soaring to jaw-dropping figures as high as $6,000 per year. It's a bitter pill to swallow for those who expected lower running costs when they made the switch to an EV. Do you have an EV? Let us know in the comments with your experiences, and let's start the conversation. And just when you thought things couldn't get any crazier, President Biden has thrown another curveball into the mix. His latest mandate is a head-scratcher, to say the least. Federal government employees are now being told they can only travel in EVs or face the consequences. It's a move that's raising eyebrows and leaving many scratching their heads as the White House doubles down on its commitment to push EVs at all costs. What do you think about this? Let us know. But that's not all. The White House is also tightening the screws on tailpipe emissions rules, proposing some of the toughest regulations ever seen in a bid to make a massive chunk of new vehicle purchases electric by 2032. It's a bold move that's sure to send shockwaves through the automotive industry, but whether it'll pay off remains to be seen. It's not just about encouraging EV use, it's about a full-scale assault on gas-powered cars as we know them. Critics are sounding the alarm, warning that these aggressive moves could send costs soaring for consumers and plunge the industry into chaos. And let's not forget the elephant in the room, the glaring issues with EV supply and infrastructure. We're talking charging stations, energy grids, you name it. There's a laundry list of necessities that must be in place for this EV revolution to succeed. And then, there's the geopolitical minefield to navigate, with many of the critical materials needed for EV batteries sourced from overseas, particularly China. Shifting to EVs means wading into the murky waters of international politics and trade, a risky game with high stakes. The politicians may be calling the shots, but companies are turning a blind eye to the demands of their customers. And guess what? It's all starting to backfire in spectacular fashion. The repercussions are poised to be far worse than anyone could have anticipated, and the fallout is set to reverberate throughout the entire industry. Are political leaders truly in control of the EV market? And more importantly, will EVs ever become affordable for the average consumer? I want to hear your thoughts. Drop a comment below. And if you want to be updated about the EV market, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon.